YouTube, it's Alex. I'm going to try to make a short video to tell you um, how my day went yesterday. Um, so, I didn't go buy a home pregnancy test. I had an appointment yesterday because um, something uh, medical has been happening in the past couple of days and it scared me and it has nothing to do with getting pregnant or anything. So, I went to the doctors and um, to talk about that and we also talked about other things. Um, they tested my pee and they said that uh, I'm not pregnant and that was like the first thing he said to me he didn't, we didn't even talk about anything yet and he just said you're not pregnant and I explained to him that I miscarried on the 16th of December and then he said well in that case you're testing too early he says I have to I wouldn't get a real result until next week at the end of the week so I was like really? he's like yeah so, it doesn't seem like it would. You'd think I would, I would get positive now, but he said I would have to wait a whole nother week. So, um, then I talked to him about how I had that spotting that I told you girls about, um, that I had, and he thinks that could have been my period. He says that's a possibility that it could have been your period, and the reason why you didn't really bleed is because of your miscarry, and, um, and then I told him, well, I'm having all these kids the same symptoms as I had as last month, and I told him about my breast, so how it's not sore, but the random pains happen at night time, and I told him about how my stomach has been making all these twinges and pain, little pains, and I thought that was my uterus stretching, and he said, again, you could be pregnant, and it's too early for you to talk. So we got really into the whole baby making um, conversation, and which is nice, because the Navy didn't do that for me. Sorry I'm talking fast. I'm trying to get all this in one. Um, and so, I told him that we've been trying for a year, over a year now. And so he, um, so I'm going back tomorrow and they're going to do uh, a pap smear and they're going to do an ultrasound um, to see why I'm having these, these, um, these problems with pains in my breast and pains in my stomach. I explained to him in the ER how we went to the ER and the doctor pushed really hard on my left because I was having those sharp pains last month and uh, so he thinks I have this so they're going to look to see if I have any cysts that are going bad or whatever. So we're going to do that tomorrow so I'm really nervous about it. Um, I'm also going in to do um, a blood sample. They're going to take some blood for me to see um, what's going on with my blood. He said that I had a small temperature of 99.7. Um, and he did it with my ear. And I noticed that every time they do one with my ear, my temperature is always higher than it should. And then when I always do a mouth thermometer, it's always like in the 97s. So I really don't know. I have been feeling sick, though. I have been feeling really out of this whole week. So maybe I did have the temperature, so I don't know. Um, maybe I have really crappy thermometers here, so I don't know. He said I had a little high fever, and he was checking my breathing, and he really seemed concerned for me, so I'm, like, really scared. Um, so, yeah, um, they're going to run some tests on me and, and do the ultrasound and the pap smear tomorrow. So, um, I'm really nervous. Um. So, my husband and I are so, well, I'm mainly irritated. Um, my sister Katie is, uh, she just found out she's pregnant. She's seven weeks tomorrow, and I'm extremely happy for her. She's 25 years old. She's been with her boyfriend for six years. Um, she had a miscarry um, about a year ago, or about two years ago, and um, it was really hard for her, and they never tried again because it was like, un, you know, they weren't really trying. So she got pregnant again, and she was really nervous, but they took her blood and everything, and they said that the numbers, her HCG level is very high. She has really bad morning sickness, and she's doing good, and I'm extremely happy for her. Then, we found out that, um, um, oh, just to say that I am, um, I'm a supportive I'm very supportive for gays um, and lesbians. My sister, my oldest sister, Jennifer, I have four older sisters. I'm the youngest. I'm the fifth daughter. Um, all girls. Um, my oldest sister is a lesbian, and she's been 
with her girlfriend um, for about six years too and um, they're trying to get pregnant and not in a way that I support but um, sh so my sister's girlfriend's pregnant now so now we have two people pregnant in the family and then my other sister Brooke the middle child uh, she got her tubes tied after her third child and she's now trying to say that she's pregnant again. She's like the biggest liar in the family. We don't get along with her. I have dealt with her for years and years and years and just couldn't take it. On my nephew's birthday, she wouldn't let me talk to him. Because when I went up to Oregon in, in the summertime, I didn't go and visit them. When I had all these people to visit, she lived out of town. I didn't have time to drive out of town. But when we aren't getting along, she'll drive up to my in-laws unannounced. So it's like, when we got along, why couldn't you just have done that? So she's nothing but pure drama. She can't be happy for anyone if she hears good news. for Like when she found out I was pregnant, when, when I thought I was, she said she didn't care. And she knew she knows we've been trying for over a year. Um, so now she's trying to say she's pregnant, even though she had a tubal and now my dad's thinking that he, she lied, saying that she got a tubal and she never did. And then all of us are like, we guarantee it, in a couple of weeks, a month, she's going to say that she miscarried. That's just how she is. She's hearing all these people are pregnant and she, you know, she's just, that's just how she is. So I guess there's three pregnant people in the family and I'm not, I'm not one of them. So, Katie's feeling pretty down. She's like, I don't feel special anymore. This is supposed to be my first baby. Blah, blah, blah. And plus, my sister's um, girlfriend that's pregnant, she already has three kids of her own. And now they're going to have the fourth. And it's just stupid. So stupid. So stupid. And Katie, should, I'm so happy for Katie. And now she's telling me here all these other people are pregnant when they shouldn't even be pregnant. And it's like me, I've been trying for a year, and I finally get pregnant and miscarry a couple of days afterwards. So, I had a horrible day yesterday, and I'm hoping that tomorrow there's nothing serious, and that everything looks normal. I'm hoping my cervix and my uterus looks normal. He thinks that there's something blocking my tubes, and that's why it's getting hard for me to get pregnant, so he wants to check that out. So, that's all I'm going to say. I hope I didn't go for my minute. And I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you a good answer. Trying to get pregnant right after you miscarry, I don't think it's a good idea because it just confuses you to death. So I wish I kind of waited until um, my cycle was normal. So that's what I think. Um, so now I have no idea. He thinks I'm testing too early. He even thinks that I should wait a whole month to test and not even worry about testing next month. So I don't know. Okay, well, that's all I'm going to say, and uh, I'll update you guys on my ultrasound and my pap smear. Okay, have a nice day.